In the day's other headlines, more people have been reported sick from the E. coli outbreak tied to fast food giant McDonald's quarter pounders. The CDC says there are at least 75 reported illnesses in 13 states as far west as Washington state and as far east as Michigan. The number of hospitalizations has risen to 22 and one person has died. No source of the outbreak has been confirmed, but Taylor Farms, a California-based supplier of yellow onions to McDonald's and other fast food chains, has voluntarily recalled its produce from a facility in Colorado. The Biden administration is proposing a new path for student loan forgiveness, this time for Americans facing imminent financial hardship. If finalized, the Education Department could proactively cancel loans for borrowers with an 80 percent risk of imminent default within two years. It's estimated some 8 million people would qualify, including those facing unexpected medical bills, high child care costs or damage from natural disasters. This is President Biden's third attempt at student loan forgiveness, and the proposal is expected to face legal challenges, just as the first two attempts have. Hezbollah militants and the Israeli army traded fire across the Lebanese border today. Two people in northern Israel were killed by shrapnel from a Hezbollah rocket attack. While in southeast Lebanon, an Israeli airstrike killed three journalists overnight. Many other media are staying in the same area, which has been largely spared from attacks so far. The Committee to Protect Journalists called for an independent investigation. Forecasters warn that a deadly tropical storm in the Philippines that's already killed 82 people may turn back around and return to the area next week. Rescuers and police dug through some 10 feet of mud, rocks and debris to search for missing villagers as landslides buried homes and cars. Over two dozen people remain unaccounted for in the northwestern Batangas province and elsewhere. Nearly 240,000 people have been forced into shelters, many with nothing left. We have nothing left. We have no more house to go home to. All I'm thinking about is where do we go next? We have no more home. Tropical storm Trami is the 11th storm and so far the deadliest to hit the Philippines this year. The country typically sees an annual average of 20 tropical storms.